Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I think that that is probably an 11 by 14 inch canvas. This is a 4 ounce cup. This is my flow trawl and my flow trawl sieve on the top. Now, rather than just use straight flow trawl, which was a, something I contemplated, I'm going to half fill this cup. So, a couple ounces of flow trawl. I'm not going to use it all. That's just my beginning place. And I'm going to add some of my already mixed up pouring recipe with white paint in it, which has GAC 800 by Golden in it. And I don't mind if I have something that's like super saturated with Floetrol, because that's my point. I don't want to use water, and I do want to try a Dutch pour, just because I can't be left out. Everybody's doing it. I've got a blow dryer. I'm not using it. I'm feeling guilty about having a blow dryer. I also have my airbrush, which might, might come in handy. I'm thinking I'm definitely going to use this to blow over my paint. But I want another color. So I'm going to give myself black on two corners. And then I'm going to use my OXO omelet turning spatula to make sure that paint gets right all the way to the edges. Because I can push it back along the edges and I get a little, I'll get a little drip there. Like that. I could even run that right along the edge and that will work out well. So my edge is mostly covered there. At least one of them. I'm not going to take too long to do all that. I say that and then I'm going to dip into my other paint and steal some. Now this paint doesn't have to be heavy, but I kind of feel like the paint with the flow trawl in it needs to be heavy. I am not a Dutch pour person or a Dutch pour expert by any stretch of the imagination. I kind of want to make this uneven because I don't think it has to be even and I like things that are more organic. Now Dutch pours are all about cells and ruffles and we'll see what happens. Well they for me they look like ruffles and I know they're very popular so I might as well see what I can do just for grins. You know the other part of that statement. I don't have to tell you So I've got my edges covered. I've got my colors picked out. I've got my spatula scraped off on the edge. Let me just check my edges with my finger. So I don't have to worry about that after this. All right, so it's time. I have a cold button on my and my blow dryer. I don't know how this is going to work, but I know lately we've been talking about it in the Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group in the Facebook group on my... on Facebook! Um, that flow trawl is a great cell creator, so it doesn't seem like I can do this wrong no matter what I do, as long as I'm going to add some colors and some more white mixture. And I am. I may use that whole two ounces. I'm not a big paint waster, but I really do want to do this. And maybe I'll just take my palette knife. Maybe I'll take another palette knife that's easier. Where is it? Well, this isn't really a palette knife. It's a circuit circuit cutter tool. I don't have one. But I, I couldn't resist it when I saw the tool one day. I knew that'll be useful for something sometime. I try and find my, I try and scavenge my stuff before buying it, but sometimes I just gotta have a tool. All right, I'm gonna throw that in my bucket, keep my white paint handy for a minute, and I am going to start with what? I'm gonna start with <clears throat> some turquoise with iridescent pearl fine metallic in it. Iridescent pearl fine from Golden. It's the pearl. That is not open, and I really want that. And I really have a pair of tweezers, and these tweezers are sharp, and that's the best pair to get. They are on the Amazon link, where if you, sh you shop there, I know how it costs you. Helps me out, and I appreciate it. 
but um, the sharp ones are the way to go, in my opinion. This color is the Hot Orchid, and it's from Color Art, and I love it. It's not recommended that you add pouring mediums to it, but since I love the color anyway, because mostly because it's going to take away some of the some of the metallic sheen, but I love the color so much anyway, it does not matter to me. So I'm going to try and layer my colors similar to each other. That is a purple fat flash from Folk Art. It's a color shift. I didn't put any orange in here. This is a Folk Art neon pink. And I'm not putting solid lines, and I probably could, you know. And what else do I have? I have this pink that I don't know what it is. It's iridescent. I think it used to be from Modern Masters, and they don't have it anymore. I'm going to give myself some green, gold, color shift from Folk Art, and some gold. And I think I'm going to finish up where I thought I was going to start with some Prussian blue. Now this might be noisy. <laughs> Chances are good. I'm going to I'm going to give it another little dose of the Peacock from Deco Art Americana. And we've got the flow troll at the very least that's going to help us out. So I'm just going to go right along the edge. I think I'm going to go that way first. like that already to tell you the truth and I don't know that I need anything else. If you know me I want a tip. Actually I really do like that. <laughs> oh no I'm hooked. Darn. <laughs> no wonder people like this so much. That's just so simple. What, what else can I do to this? I can take my palette knife which has got white paint on it and scrape it off in the well so-called white paint. It'll dry completely different because that white will probably be extremely sheer. All right, I'm going to blow some of that out. Because I can see some canvas. I'm not going to put the white paint on it. Because I really don't want it. I think I am going to take my airbrush and just play with this a little bit. Because I can. I'm really tempted to grab a skewer and drag some tendrils out and see what happens when I do that. I like the unevenness of the distribution of paint, that it's different on one side than the other. So I should tell you, I've got over 91,000 subscribers, and if you're new, please be welcomed. I'm very happy that you're here. Know that I have over 1,700 videos on playlists, and if you're looking for them, just search for created playlists and all playlists. I just sort of want to stick a basting brush in there and see what happens to be different. Maybe I will do that. Because I can. The name of my first book. And that is on the Amazon link under the link tree. under the video. <laughs> and should you happen to be interested in making a purchase of any artwork, my email address is directly the, below the link tree. Even if you don't see it, it's there. 
you might have to open show more. I just don't really want to make something that looks like everything everybody else is making. But the colors are gorgeous and I'm getting nice, nice cells. And even though I don't have as many cells as lots of people get, it's okay with me because I'm loving the colors. Can I bring that back again? Yes, I can. Yeah, I'm really liking that. So I'm behind the crowd, but somebody did ask me very specifically recently to do a Dutch pour. So now I'm doing it. And I'm hoping it doesn't look like everybody else's, and I don't think it looks exactly like that. Fewer ruffles and fewer cells. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint, if there are any still. I'm loving the cells that are being popped up as I heat it because of the catalytic, re catalytic reaction with the Floetrol. Even though I have heavy paint, I have GAC 800 in all of my mixtures, including the white paint I just put down, which means that chances are very good this will dry flat because of the Floetrol and without cracks because of the GAC 800. My paint pouring recipe is below my vi the video. Please give me a thumbs up and share my videos if you wouldn't mind. Watch them longer. That helps the YouTube algorithm react and, and help me get better placement. This is really cute. I really, really, really like this. <laughs> oh boy. I've been not doing this for so long. Anyway, so under the link tree is uh, pixels.com and Fire Note America. Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Appreciation Group for student Students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Totes and more for shopping pixels.com and Fine Art America, which you can get there two different ways. And Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors where you can find albums with the edited artworks. If you ever find an artwork, even on a video, as long as I have that hashtag, I can A, give you a price to sell it to you, or I can B, post it, or if it's posted, I'll let you know. If you guys need links to anything, please let me know. I'll give you a link to a playlist if you're interested. Look on my YouTube channel's community board for tomorrow's video. Look on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for tomorrow's video. Look under the video for Teespring Clothing with Oliver Print Leggings and Oliver Print T-shirts. Thank you guys so much for all the wonderful comments you leave me and know that there is a drawing every single month and you can find the exhibition video on the end screens of every video and it will share with you what that month's pri prizes are. There are paintings or books or both or whatever and my Recipe, I think I mentioned, but I'm not positive, is underneath, show more underneath the video, read down, it's about halfway, and all kinds of little tips and tricks are buried in there, so if you are somebody who wants information, that is a great place. I want to take that and put it right there, because it's so nice. Well, I'm going to zoom in if I can, and I'm going to tell you guys I love you, because I do. And say that was fun, even more fun than I expected it to be. And that's about as zoomed in as I can be. Let's zoom out again. You guys take care of each other and take care of yourselves. I will see you anon, probably for another Dutch pour anytime soon. I love you. I said that twice now. Um, what else is there to say? I'll see you. Bye for now. Priscilla out.